Hey guys, my name is Gary. This weekend we're bringing you a little quick video on these uh, fixture stops that we're making to, to use on our table here. So uh, stick around, see how we make them, and then come back at the end I'll show you how we're going to be using them.
All right, so one of the things that you know happens a lot when you're welding thin metal uh, like this one inch, uh, eighth inch by one angle iron, um, is it really moves around and warps a lot because uh, you know because it's just so thin. So um, you can see we, we were we were shooting for a um, a uh, overall dimension outside the outside of about 19 inches, and you can see we're it's a, it's about uh, a sixteenth over right there. So which is which is fine. Uh, the real key part though is to make this thing square. Um, and you can see out here on the outer edge, um, it's I don't know if I'm going to zoom in so you can see that, but it's um, you know it's about an eighth of an inch off between here and here. And this is pretty common for this unsupported edge out here. If this is, were to be a square frame with this fitted in, you'd have a lot easier time because you'd tack all this up, and the the frame itself would help hold it square. Um, now, now of course we've got our clamps, you know, here that um, we can use to uh, to clamp this down with. And and it, it'll do a good job of of keeping it flat so that you don't end up with something that's you know sort of warped this way, but. You know, for one thing, this is kind of hard to, to clamp right here um, because there's not a, a good surface edge on it. So, um, what I did was make these things. Let me move this clamp back a little bit and make some room uh, to act as stops uh, that are adjustable. So, um, the uh, these holes are about 628 thousandths, and I tried to get really close to that on this shoulder up here. And then the threads themselves are 600 thousandths, and this is for a 5 8 um, you know, 5 8 nut that we're using on the bottom of it. So you can see that fits down in there really tight. Some of these holes have some little uh, laser cut burrs on them as well. So really you just want to hand tighten these down. They don't need to be uh, any tighter than that. And then just do some adjustment out on the, uh, on the screw here. get one on the other side I'm gonna use some different bolts than these I just I just use these for the video to make it a little more interesting to look at uh, the contrast and color there uh, sometimes if you use colored stuff in your videos people watch them more um, so um, so now you can see we got this adjusted out um, here and uh, even though this has already been welded we can use those to, to push this out to the correct dimension we've already moved it out some I'll move this one out some more and this is something that you can play around with and, and you might actually have to move it out a little over so pardon my reach across the camera All right, so now we got that set up and we get our clamps. Clamped in there. We got that one pretty close. That really should now keep those outer edges from wanting to toe in um, on a modern cut like that. So anyway, just wanted to share this with you guys uh, this week, uh, this weekend here, just a quick video. Um, and uh, check out Monday. Coming up Monday, we'll have Metal Work Monday. Thanks, guys.